Hey guys, sorry I made a video in a little while. Just uploaded some old ones. Uh, but I get, gonna give you a little club update. Um, a couple things are gonna change right before the season, but I thought I might show you what I was playing with for the end. Um, so let's get started here. Got a tailor-made burner super fast, the old one that came out with a new one that has the white top. Um, love the shape of it. Uh, the stock one comes like 46 and a half inches or something. It's crazy long. So I got this one cut down about three quarters. Um, ten and a half degrees of loft. Humongous face. It's it's so freaking huge. Uh, and stock matrix Ozic shaft, like I said, cut down three quarters of an inch. White and black multi-compound. Not the straightest driver in the world, but I would definitely recommend cutting it down for accuracy. Next, got a four wood. Don't carry three or five. Got a four. Tailmate R9, 17 degrees of loft. Um... Great, I love the shape of this one too, more more triangular shape, and also I love how the face isn't very deep. Um, great to get out of the rough. Uh, just I just I just love I just love that. I've tried the uh, 909s, I just don't like them. They the shape isn't quite right. The face I think is way too deep, but this club fits perfectly right in there. Um, great off the tee, uh, stock Matori 70 gram stiff flex shaft. And white and black multi compounds. Next, carry two hybrids. This is the longer one, 21 degrees, Titleist 909H. Great hybrids. I think they're by far the best hybrids in the game. I think they're better than Adams. I think they're better than they're better than everything. Uh, Titleist 909H. Um, this one has a Voodoo shaft stock and white and black multi compound. So, great hybrids, great setup, very traditional looking. Uh, great club. I highly recommend those. They're amazing. Like I said, I got two of them. Here's the other one, size 99 each, 24 degrees. This one's cut down about an inch. Trying to get it to replace my 4 iron. Just when it was stock length, I was just hitting it a little too far. So, I cut down and knocked off about 10 or 15 yards. Uh, Diamond, a blue board, stock shaft. Orange black multi compound on there. Uh, next, go to irons. These are actually only going to be in the bag for another 24 to 48 hours. Uh, just ordered some Mizuno MP52s, and Mizuno by far makes the best forged irons ever. You can say all you want about Titleist and all that. They, Mizuno is amazing when it comes to forge. If you're buying forged irons, you buy Mizuno. But yeah, right now, Ping G5s. Uh, got them five through nine, stock shaft, stock grip. I mean, like, a, they're a little too chunky for me. They're more be beginner's iron, and I'd still recommend those too, but getting some new ones. So, like I said, got those down to nine. Then we go four wedges. Start off pitching wedge, 48 degrees of loft, Titleist Vokey. It's a 200 series. It's got six degrees of bounce. Got the uh, stock dynamic gold shaft and white and black multi compound on there uh, next gap wedge 52 degrees the newer Vokey spin milled um, like I said 52 degrees 8 degrees of bounce just all the I could carry nothing but Vokey wedges I they're amazing um, the only other wedges I can find to compare them to are the scratch golf ones I mean they're so I think they're too expensive so I don't buy those uh, just stock gra uh, stock shaft and uh, yellow and black multi compound. Next, we got my sand wedge, old trusty here, 56 degrees. It's the 08 spin milled. Got 14 degrees of bounce and stock shaft and yellow and black multi compound. And finally, the 60, my lob. It's only got 4 degrees of bounce, so you can do those floppers. And uh, it's the uh, 2008 spin milled um, stock shaft and orange black Monte compound. Not much to say, just amazing. On to the putter. Bet you don't know what it is yet. Okay, it's an old ping answer two, where they put the uh, location right there. Can't quite see it. Um, yeah, just. One of the oldies. Uh, it's got the white line. 
I think it, it looks exactly like a Newport too. But one of the guys at work traded in, got for like 40 bucks. And I just, after I started playing with it, I just couldn't let it go. So I bought it. It's got the Golf Pride grip. Um, yeah, just, I never really played with a blade. So I figured I'd try it out and just like it that much. So it'll be in the bag for this season. Here are two other ones. Uh, Circa 62 number six. Got the high toe. Um, if you haven't seen, Camillo uses a tailor made that looks exactly like it. It's just white. Got the uh, black baby tee. And, uh, yeah. If you guys do get one of these, I would highly recommend using, like, gun oil, like, every week during your season. If you play a couple times a week, just you just wipe it down with some gun oil, and it'll just keep it in fairly good shape. It won't rust as much, so. Yeah. And then my other one here. I, this will occasionally go in the bag. Um, Odyssey White High XG number 7. A lot of guys on tour were using it. Um, Rocco was using it for a little while after he was done with his saber tooth. Tom Watson, Pat Perez, Luke Donald, Carl Peterson for a little bit. He was using a long putter version. And Jim Furyk had it in his bag for a little while too. So uh, we'll go inside the bag here. Got a couple new things. New toys. Uh, in this side pocket, got hand warmers. It's cold out here in PA right now. And, oh, this is new. It's just an Adidas pullover. Real nice. Um, got it decked for like 45 bucks. Nice. So, uh, in here, glove, foot joy, stay soft. Uh, foot joy hat, because it's cold. Um, just got a bunch of crap, not really crapper balls, but just ones that I found when I was on vacation over the summer. So this is E6. Uh, got some like Strixon, some Callaways. I did get some uh, Callaway Tour IZs, so I'll be doing a review on those come uh, the, when I can get out and tell you how they are and stuff. Um, and also I'm waiting for the uh, HX Diablo Tours to come out. The three-piece ball is going to be like 30 bucks. Callaway, so I said just some Strixon on there and uh, Bridgestone E6 Plus. That's what's in there. Got some tape, always need tape, and uh, pens to mark my balls. Tissues got allergies, so um, towel right here. So I got a couple of towels upstairs, so. Uh, Blue Ridge Home Course uh, USGA membership. It's like ten bucks. Might as well. And one more here. Kurt Tuck Club down the Outer Banks. Always go play there. And my friend gave me this. It's a little. He made out of duct tape. You just put like eight T's in there, and just nice to have because I carry a tea bag, but kind of annoying to like pull in and out of the bag. First aid kit. If you seen my earlier videos, you know what's in there. Just a bunch of stuff for golf. Oh, this is a Christmas present. If you guys haven't seen this, highly recommend getting one. It's a little overpriced, but they're cool. It's a putting tool. You get that out, and you put like these two marbles on the end, and you just putt through it. Uh, these little lines um, help you with like your head position and stuff. You gotta make sure there's a gap on each side. So that's cool. Pell's putting tool. Go to pellsgolf.com. Uh, the magazine, Golf Digest, was just reading this at work, so it ended up in my bag, somehow. Huh. More gloves, keep them in a Zephok bag, keeps the leather nice and soft. Uh, raincoat, nice, uh, sun ice raincoat, uh, Golf Warehouse had it on sale, so ordered one. Rain cover for the, uh, bag, it's always in there. And a couple other things I didn't mention. They're in this other pocket, I think. And somewhere down there. Oh, ball markers right here. Just got like a crap load of these. Um, college bar markers. And I think there's a Titleist one in here somewhere. Let me find it right there. A little hat clip. Uh, oh, there they are. This I got for Christmas too. It's a Scotty Cameron Divot Tool. Um, just got for Christmas from my aunt and uncle. Taylor made one. Old Taylor made one. Uh, new one.
Here's the new one. Itsy Bitsy. They really just got me at work, so I picked one up for Christmas. And uh, Campbell Golf Divitool and Kurt Duck Club Divitool. Just a piece of sheet metal cut out and be like a Divitool. So that's what's in my bag right now. Like I said, um, go be get some new stuff in. Got the uh, MP52s coming. I'll do a box opening for that. I hope they come tomorrow. Uh, ordered them like Saturday night or something. So, yeah, so please uh, uh, comment and subscribe. Thanks.